Two female military veterans now running for Congress say their drive to run is fueled by their belief that the Biden administration is failing to protect our national security. Here to explain, U.S. Senate candidate in North Carolina, Marjorie Eastman, and Virginia State Senator and Virginia congressional candidate, Jen Kiggins. Good morning to you both. So, Jen, I'll start with you because uh, you are a Navy veteran, nurse practitioner, and state senator. You also have four kids. And one day you woke up and said, let me add one more thing to my to-do list and run for Congress. So what motivated you to run? Thank you, Carly. And so my life has always been about service, as you mentioned. First, I served for my country as a Navy pilot and flew H-46s and H-3s uh, for 10 years and got out, used my GI Bill, and I went to school as a nurse practitioner. So I served my, my patients and their families. And then I served my family as a mother and as a military spouse. And then I decided, well, gosh, I'll run for state senate, and now I serve my constituents. So that life of service, I just hope to continue that on the national level where we really need the help right now. Yeah. Marjorie, you served in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and you signed up for the Army after the 9-11 terror attacks. And you say wit witnessing President Biden's uh, disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan is what motivated you to run for Senate in North Carolina? That's correct. I mean, I'll just start with 9-11 20 years ago. When that happened to our country, I asked myself, how can I help? Because no one does this to my country. And you fast forward today with all the crises that we're surrounded with, the, the disastrous fall of Afghanistan was the tipping point for me. Because I asked myself again, how can I help? Because no one does this to my country. And Afghanistan's personal to me. I saw that war firsthand. I know people that died over there, and I held the hands of little Afghan girls when we would deliver goodwill supplies from generous Americans. So yes, the Biden administration failed us, and that is why I'm running for U.S. Senate. Jen, you know, last month a Pentagon official said that ISIS-K would be able to, they'd have the capacity to attack the United States in six months, uh, a story that I don't think has gotten enough attention. What can be done to reverse that? We need to prioritize our national security. Right now, we have not. The American military feels like the administration does not have their backs. And I worry about our retention and our recruitment for our military. I worry about our families, that impression that that leaves with our families, that we feel vulnerable right now. We feel that Congress isn't looking out for us. We feel that our current president isn't looking out for us. So we need to reprioritize that because there's nothing nothing more important than our national security and making sure that the world is, is a safe place for, for our families uh, and for our country. Yeah, and you know, Marjorie, playing off that, it sort of feels like the country is spinning out of control. You, you have uh, the crime rate going up in cities across the country, the southern border, um, no protection there. Like you said, the Afghanistan withdrawal, which is still on everybody's minds today. How does one reverse all that, tackle all of those challenges and, and put us back on track? Well, it starts by sending battle-tested leaders like Jen and me to, to Congress. We've got to stop sending career politicians who are not viewing it as a tour of duty. I view this as a tour of duty, and I took a public pledge for term limits because it's out serving. Well, thank you both so much for your service on this Veterans Day, and best of luck in your next tour of duty, which would be uh, a political career to come if you, if you both win your respective elections. Best of luck on that front as well. Thank you. Thank and happy you. Veterans Day. Thank you, Carly. Happy Veterans Day to both happy of you, Veterans too. Day. I appreciate it. Uh,